This is the Cyber Crime Unit of Spain's Civil Guard closing in on suspects for offences ranging from child pornography to forgery and pirating. Cyber crimes become a growth industry. More and more criminals are waking up to the fact that even with these cyber snoops on their tails, as a money spinner, the net's a lot less risky than armed robbery. She's watching the detectives. Those involved in cybercrime, the profile of the cyber criminal, if you like, has changed over the years. Disgruntled former programmers and thrill seeking teenagers used to be the main cause of online chaos. Now the internet has become the turf and territory of gangs involved in organized crime. How to take these criminals on is being thrashed out here in Madrid, where the Council of Europe is pushing its cyber crime convention. Many of those involved in wrongdoing on the web are holed up in or covering their tracks through countries that lack the laws, procedures or even adequately trained police to deal with this sort of offence. The convention then aims to establish an international standard, leaving no loopholes, havens or hideouts. That's if everyone signs up. That's one of the problems, but of course you have to start somewhere. Huh? And there, therefore it's very encouraging that the United States, for example, the Senate is ratifying the uh, convention for the moment. And this will probably give, give an impulse to other countries. Huh? We are starting and uh, probably we are counting on the snowball effect. It's as well the US has ratified. It's not only a target, but also one of the main sources of spam and viral attacks. The convention aims to level the field, pushing globally for the laws and the procedures to back them up. It also requires the setting up of cybercrime units like Spain's. These digital detectives have to be able to monitor the web and investigate crimes around the clock. Lo que más alarma social crea y donde más incidencia de delito hay, lógicamente la pornografía infantil. No quiero decir esto que haya mucha pornografía infantil comparado con lo demás. Lo que pasa es que el ciudadano en cuanto detecta una imagen de pornografía infantil, una web, una comunicación, rápidamente se pone en conocimiento, eh, lo pone en conocimiento de las fuerzas y cuerpos de seguridad. Investigators use software such as Microsoft's child exploitation tracking system to sift through evidence and possibly link it to known previous offenders. But not all the answers are high tech. Take the fight against those who try to trick you to give over your financial details. The Fishnet is a grouping of police, internet service providers and banks bent on making fishing a hazardous sport. Once people I mean, don't understand the difference between a legitimate website and a fake website, then they may give their data to a fake website and never come again, or they may wish not to give their details to any site be it legal or illegal, and then the trust in, 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 in the e-commerce is severely damaged. So it's important that we become streetwise and develop a similar common sense online to the instinct that makes us think twice about going through dodgy neighbourhoods in the physical world. At the same time, some are wary of too much government interference and worried that the convention could compromise privacy and our right to roam. The internet, they say, is no place for stop signs. What we strive to do in the United States is to assure our citizens that our checks and balances are in place and that they will in no way be compromised by the fact that we've signed the convention. Obviously, in designing laws in other jurisdictions, we would want similar checks or balances to be put in place, again, to make certain that individual rights, as that's defined by each country, are fully and properly protected. We can have this convention used, then, to engage in that sort of oppression. Madrid's a lovely city, but the traffic's appalling, and for all their efforts, the police don't always help. Some fear the same for the internet. It was founded on the ideals, perhaps even myths, of freedom and transparency. And if the authorities are not careful, we could end up losing the very liberty they're trying to protect. <laughs>